Welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. I'm Greg and I'm standing in front of a gorgeous 1990 Mustang. She's got a 331 stroker, trick flow heads, intake, over $40,000 spilt on the build on this thing and we have all the receipts. She is gorgeous. And if you want to check out about 100 pictures of her, go to our website at vanguardmotorsales.com. We're going to get it up on the lift so you can see the bottom side. We're going to take a look under the hood, the interior, the hatchback. We'll show you everything you want to see so you can make a great decision on your Mustang investment. So come on up and we'll fire this baby up. Check this beautiful Mustang out. Man, it's got smoked out headlights. Those look brand spanking new. Paint on the front bumper looks beautiful. We've got a couple of touch-ups here on the hood. That paint is as slick and smooth as can be. That hood is fitting great to that front fender. All the lines on the car are nice and clean. Look at those Cobra wheels. That chrome looks brand spanking new. That door's flushing out real nice with the front fender and with the quarter. It operates nice. Look at those lips there. Beautiful. That looks like original paint right there. Just a beautiful car. Very well kept. All the glass is in good shape. Tail light lenses look good. Paint on the back bumper is in great shape. Let's get inside the deck lid here. Wow, look in there. Looks brand spanking new back there. I don't think anything was ever back there. I don't think anybody ever put anything in the back of this car. She looks beautiful. All the paint work on the gutters here look great. That looks like it's original also. Paint work on the bottom side of the deck lid also looks original. All these lips are beautiful. Look down the side of the car. Look how nice and straight the paint work is. Again, this door's nice and flush, just like the driver's door. Operates nice. Those lips are beautiful. And at Vanguard Motor Sales, we are the largest non-consignment dealer in the United States. That's right, we own all of our vehicles. Right now, we've got over 190 in stock, and we're bringing in about 40 new cars every month. So check out the website at vanguardmotorsales.com. Let's check out the interior now. Check this beauty out. That door panel looks beautiful. Check out the carpeting and the upholstery on the seats again. Looks gorgeous. Seat belts in the front and the rear. Back seat looks good. That does fold down, guys. Take a look at the pictures and you'll see that folded down in the picture. Headliner looks good. Dome lights working. Dash pad itself is in good shape. All the gauges look nice. Man, this car's sharp. All right, now that you've had a quick look at the car, if you want to go straight to our website and check out about 180 other cars, hit the top button. If you'd like to watch an About Us video, hit the middle button. If you'd like to subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit the bottom button. Now let's get back out there and check out that car. All right, this is the point in the video where we'd normally do a driving video. We've got snow today, so we won't be driving it today. Now, down here on the dash, we've got the tack working on the dash, we've got our extra tack working, the speedo's working, we've got all our extra gauges here, the horn's working, we've got an aftermarket radio here, five speed, beautiful car inside, guys. Now, Tom answers his phone seven days a week and practically 24 hours a day, so call him anytime. He'd love to tell you all about this car and how easy it is to park this dream in your driveway. And listen to those pipes. Man, she sounds good. Now stick around because this is the point where we put it in the air so we can check out the underside and we'll take a look under the hood also. All right guys, we're underneath this 90 Mustang now. Seeing this, I really, really want to drive this car and I'm so disappointed that it's snowy out and we can't do that. Not, not that you would get traction even if we, uh, had a, we didn't have the policy to not drive cars in the uh, basalt and the snow. This thing is absolutely badass. This thing has got a lot of performance parts on this thing. This thing is meant to be drag raced. I mean, it, it's just, it, scream, it screams kick the clutch. This car's awesome. 
Um, here we got our gas tank cover here. Gas tank's up inside this. Um, this is an EFI car, so I'm assuming the fuel, the fuel pump is up in there with it. This thing here is a Ford 8.8. .8. You can see here they've got the aftermarket cover on this. It's a trick flow cover. These bolts here actually go into the center caps, or I should say the, uh, the caps for the, uh, the rear end that actually hold the uh, center, I guess the gear in there. And these drill into it and actually stabilize all that stuff and make this even stronger. They did that for a reason, and you'll see why as we get toward the front of this car. Um, <clears throat> it has roughly a 373 gear in it. It is posi. It's aftermarket gears, aftermarket posi on this thing. This guy built this thing uh, to hammer on it, and this thing is very, very tough. You can see we've got these aftermarket uh, arms here on the rear end, and you can see he's even uh, boxed this in here and braced all this stuff, so that way you can, you know, it, it can take even more of a licking because this was all essentially sheet metal on the stock one. Well, of course, he needed a little bit more than that, so to handle all what's up there. So we've got these uh, aftermarket. Uh, I guess you would like to call it, I guess the lower arm or the forelink, the front front end of it, that's all been modified as well to handle the increased abuse. We have um, subframe connectors here, as you can see, uh, tied in at the front and at the rear of the, uh, the frame rails. Uh, dual exhaust on it, got Flowmaster mufflers on a Fox body, why not? Uh, here we've got the uh, drive shaft, and this is one hell of a drive shaft. This thing uh, looks to me like yeah, I mean, it's fully custom made. I can see it's got the really nice U-joints in the thing, the, the high performance U-joints. I mean, once again, no expense spared on the drive line. This thing is, is just downright badass. I can't, I can't say it enough. Um, in front of that, we've got a TKO 600 transmission. That is, it's Tremex bad boy. There's, there's really not too much better than this, you know, that's uh, still streetable. Pretty awesome transmission. We've got the uh, high performance, uh, I guess you would call it transmission mount here, that uh, red polyurethane. We've got our long two BBK headers here. Uh, here are our um, O2 sensors, because like I said, this thing does have EFI on it. Cable clutch still in this thing. It's got a stage three clutch in it. Um, it's, not, it's not incredibly stiff though. It's actually pretty nice for what it is. It's actually, it drives pretty nice. You can see we've got this big old monstrous oil pan on this thing. Um, that gives you a little bit of increased oil capacity. And with a high performance motor, you need it. You can see here we do have the one piece oil pan gasket uh, in it, which is why you don't really see any drips or anything like that underneath here. Um, k and oil filter on it. He, he, I would assume he runs nice oil on this thing. Um, you can see we got power rack and pinion steering up here. We do have disc brakes on the rear. I forgot to mention all that. Um, we do have tubular control arms in the front. We do have, uh, looks like, fully adjustable struts and sh uh, shocks and what have you up here in the front as well. I mean, this, I really want to drive this car. Um, you can see we've got uh, underdrive pulleys, all this stuff's billet. And uh, we got a big old aftermarket balancer on this thing because this is not a 302 anymore. This is a 331. Um, and attached to this 331 crank is this uh, SVO boss block. And this thing has got the telltale screw in um, freeze plugs and all this stuff. This block is awesome. Everybody, see, everybody, this block is sought after. Everybody wants these blocks because they, they are unkillable. You cannot grenade these things. Um, we've also got the uh, urethane mounts up here as well. And uh, like I said, SVO boss block, guys. That right there is, is worth some serious money right there. We're gonna go check out wheels and tires and then I'm gonna show you the top end of this engine and there's a lot of performance goodies up there as well. So let's go to wheels and tires. All right guys, 235, 45, ZR17. Z stands for speed rated. These are, what are these, Nitto tires. Those are always really good tires. Very sticky, very grippy. And we do have the five lug uh, conversion uh, I guess wheels and tires on this thing where he did the, uh, the rear end also five lug conversion as well. You can see we've got these really badass slotted rotors here. Uh, just downright awesome. Let's go check out the rears. All right guys, in the back we got a little bit more meat. 245, 45 ZR17s. We need that and we, you can see we've got the discs in the rear. Five lug conversion axles like I said. Um, and of course you changed the gear set out too. So the whole, the whole rear end has been gone through. It's all aftermarket stuff, all performance stuff. Uh, really nice stuff, Nitto tires. Let's go check out the motor. All right, guys, here it is. Like I said underneath, we do have this, uh, all this 331 is uh, mounted to a boss block, SVO block. They're very strong, they're sought after, they're, they're pretty awesome. Um, on top of that, we have TrickFlow 170cc heads on this thing, um, mated to a uh, TrickFlow intake, both upper and lower. They're both TrickFlow intake uh, parts. We've got the BBK uh, throttle body here, all of the BBK uh, cold air intake on this thing. I mean, there's not a stock Ford part on this engine. It, it is completely and totally aftermarket. And I even see so much as they put ARP studs 
on the valve cover bolts for heaven's sakes. I mean, they spent money where it counted. So I would, seeing that, I would like to assume that there's a lot of like the performance ARP type fasteners holding all this together, which it just, it doesn't get any better than that. Um, outside of that stuff, the obvious stuff you can see here, we got a big old MSD distributor on this thing. Um, there is an MSD box down here. It is a 6AL, so it does have a rev limiter on it. You do have the matching wires on this thing. Like I mentioned, you get the BBK long tube headers. Um, they did uh, remove uh, air conditioning or anything like that on the car. We do have the uh, underdrive pulley kit, and you can see that we've got this aftermarket alternator on this thing with the uh, awesome heim jointed uh, tensioner for it. So they got rid of the uh, the tensioner that uh, is just spring loaded, of course. And I like this setup a lot better, and I'm a little bit envious of this. You can see they've got all their hoses and stuff like that, nice and insulated against rubbing and things of that nature. They've got a lot of nice AN lines and stuff like that, all stainless stuff, all very high quality, high dollar stuff, but it's all stuff that's needed for this type of a, this type of setup. You know, when you're really trying to go fast and you're really trying to build a performance car, that's the only way to do it. Um, you can see we've got our uh, master cylinder over here. Everything looks nice with that. I mean, uh, firewall looks like it's in great shape. It's not all hammered up in here, you know. It looks like, you know, someone's been standing in here. It actually it looks relatively nice, you know. Someone actually took their time to make sure that the paint in here was in pretty good shape. We also have an MSD Blaster 2 coil over there. Forgot to mention that. Um, looks like an aftermarket uh, water pump on the thing. We've got two fans, electric fans on this thing, keeping it cool. This is a, uh, a racing radiator, I believe a three-core radiator, if I'm not mistaken, and it is an aluminum radiator but you've got so much aluminum on this thing, I wouldn't imagine you shouldn't have too much overheating issues as long as you stay moving. Um, outside of that, it just looks like a very, very nice car, and I just, I, I can't say it enough. I'm really envious of whoever gets to test drive this car here. This thing is going to be an absolute riot. So, if you'd like to have this monster parked in your driveway, make sure to call Tom with the number below and let Vanguard Motor Sales park this monster in your driveway. All right, we've made it really easy for you. Click on any one of these five pictures here and it'll take you right to whatever you're interested in. We're going to give you about 30 seconds here to click these pictures. If you need more time, just go back in the video and click that picture.